You know, you're either going home with a, a pretty average result or you're bouncing straight on into the quarters. The heat is underway. Heat one of round three, Tatiana Western Webb representing Brazil now up against Tyler Wright from Australia, the two-time world champion, and Coco Ho from Hawaii. Pulling through the lineup and taking the surfers out the back. Now you're going to watch Tyler come to the inside and catch herself her first wave. Ducking under the cover of this tube ride. Tyler Wright trying to hang on, can't punch through that curtain. So uh, she'll go back out. That'll be a throwaway number. Tatiana taking off just behind her, repositioning herself in the lineup. So there has been a couple of waves roll through. I think she likes the look of this one. Eyeing it off. She elects to go. Let's see what she can do with it. Started her second round heat very well. Drawing off the bottom. And this wave just fades away. So not really what you'd call taking uh, control of the heat with that, uh, that priority in the early stages. Well, you know what? Looking at the exchanges, though, Coco getting the better of that. Just paddling into this one, but lots of water drawing off that reef and a bit of foam on that face too so a lot to contend with there strata was chatting about that lower tide and just that rip pulling uh, up the lineup and that's a change in condition about how karamas has changed from day to day and that's something to consider uh, now in this first heat i think also the first heat of the morning it does take a little bit of a while to kind of wake up and and just get your feet set well tyler right aggressively paddles for this wave and really hammers the first section. Nice big carve, swings the tail for the second move and doesn't ride out of that turn. Just be an increase in the consistency of the set waves as we roll through the morning. Yeah, and Tyler Wright, I love her ability to just set that tail free as she gets into that maneuver. And then the second turn, watch at the end of it, you can tell she's a little bit uh, bummed not to ride out of it, not to get the completion on that ride. I like seeing that from Tyler. And right behind her now, Coco gets an opportunity on a cleaner looking wave, but opts out the wave tapering off. A lower tide than we've had, obviously, for the first days of the, the competition. As a result, that end section is going to be tricky to read. It's going to be that third person without priority. We're going to see a lot more waves ridden, and I think we're going to see a, a few more attempts at big turns. Here goes Coco Ho. Nice little morning barrel to kick off the day, and then glides through a beautiful cutback. Tries to get a, a nice big pocket jam in there, but can't quite finish this wave off. Again, Rosie, you've been out there in the lineup each day, and the, the sunrise, as beautiful as it is for the competitors, makes it tricky to read those inside bowls, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. As you have that sun kind of getting over that bank of clouds, it really does just pierce right through this lineup into the faces of the competitors. You see, it does create beautiful morning light for us to watch and uh, really appreciate the stunning conditions on offer. Well, here's a good-looking set wave for Tyler Wright. Had a 3.17 on a last ride, and he's looking to finish one off here. And throws that tail free. So it'll be just another individual turn that's scoring for the two-time world champion. Tatiana's been a little quiet, but now starting to make some noise with a couple of big backhand jams. She was counting on just a throwaway number from her first ride, a 0.37. Low scores at this stage of the game, but... That could change at any moment. Tyler just needed to complete, but then Tatiana really capitalizing on that first section. Second turn, second maneuver on this way. She's kind of just getting those reps in at the moment, and Coco Ho up and riding Ronnie. Nice section here. And Coco made good use of it. And just see in her style how much she pivots on that back foot. So compressed, it allows her to stay one of the better ways of the day, but right behind her. Tyler Wright's about to steal the show. Big carve after getting extremely barreled on the outside. So this last exchange is really going to set the, the pace for this heat. And that's the surfing that we've been looking forward to. Let's see how she just maximizes the time there. The board does disappear for a fraction of a second and then lays into this carve. So by far the best wave that we've seen in this heat. And Tyler Wright is going to be stoked to get something a little bit more solid. As Tyler looks to pounce on this one, using her second priority to keep Coco off this one. Ducks undercover once again and really leans hard on the rail. So really looking to finish this wave off, getting a couple of solid turns done. Tiana 
had priority. She left this one for Tyler Wright, and she kind of just snaffles it out the back. Gets a tiny bit of cover and then lays into uh, the layback maneuver. And it also lends itself to a second move. And you can tell Tyler, like we were saying, she's got that fire. She looks engaged. She looks like she wants to convert uh, right now and make it straight to the quarterfinals. But not just the quarterfinals. I think as an event for Tyler, um, you know, she wants that win. She's seen Steph take wins, Leggy take wins. She needs to get her name in the mix to back up that second world title. The beautiful surfing from Tyler Wright, just power. And that body language right there tells me that, you know, she's enjoying what she's doing. Coco Ho having a look at one just behind her. Didn't really do much with it. And yeah. Tatiana holding a nerve out the back. Only appeared to be uh, happy with that rider. Previous wave came through at a 7.5, so she's out in front. And that last wave's only going to help her cause. But Tatiana, she's been banking big numbers on the back end all year. And she started this wave off very well. Mixing up her approach. Throwing in some carbs now. It's really fun when someone can get that rhythm and really start to push their turns. Definitely. And then Tatiana, we mentioned her nerve just holding on to priority, but then making a count. Two-turn combo on this wave uh, thus far. And then, you know, finds that third on that second. Super confident competitor that we saw as a, a rookie. And right now, just tucking in and fighting her way out of the tube there was Tyler Wright. Right in the bottom of that barrel. Then Tyler Wright, she's working the space inside out. And just look at the time she spends in that barrel. So super technical, difficult exit there. Uh, not as clean as what she would have liked, but Tyler Wright right now is switched on. She's in the zone. Plenty of waves on tap this morning. Great conditions once again for the Corona Barley Protected. And really, that's what you want to see once we get to this point in the competition. When you've got three surfers in the lineup, you want that consistency. It is that little bit of point of difference. Well, Tyler, she's keeping busy out here at the moment. This is her seventh ride. Her last wave with that beautiful barrel, that low road exit. It's going to fetch her a pretty big number and push her heat score total a bit higher. Go ho up at the moment. Well, trying to stall there for a moment. But she really missed the barrel opportunity at the start of that ride. Tatiana, she's chasing a big number now. She needs to get really slotted on this wave. She knows it's not going to do it, so she gets out of there. She's after an 8.6 now to jump into first. And Coco looking for a, a 6.73. A good head-to-head -head record with her uh, these past couple of years. Coco having a look at this one. And it just didn't pan out for her. She's chasing a 6.73. Would still put Coco in the forefront of making it through this heat based on uh, knowing what it's, her brand of surfing leans towards. Well, it might get a little tougher now. Tatiana, she's picked one off. Actually, that wave just didn't have a lot of wall to it. So that is going to uh, swing the door open for Coco Ho here. This is it. This is the opportunity. Just over a minute to go. Coco Ho chasing a 6.73. Swings the tail. Nice first turn, but this wave doesn't have much more on it. And Coco gets out of there one minute to go. Just don't know how you kind of flip that rhythm around. She surfed so well in a round one heat to get the victory and advance straight to this round. Solid performance from Tyler Wright, who rips into a layback jam to kick this ride off. And this way won't factor in. It's not going to go into a top two, but she looks solid. And she is into the quarterfinals, along with Tatiana Western Webb. Coco Ho out of the event. Stay with us, because up next, Steph Gilmore hits the lineup against Silvana Lima.